Hey everyone, Matt here. So it's the middle of March and we're finally getting to springtime temperatures. You can see that uh, we still have some snow left over. And actually about a, a week and a half ago, there was snow everywhere. I still had three feet of snow at the side of the driveway there. And But this last week here, it's been melting off quite steadily. We've been getting into the plus temperatures every day. And today is probably the highest temperature that I've seen and it was pretty sunny out and it was plus eight. And uh, I didn't see the bees coming out for a cleansing flight, so I got a little worried. And I opened them up today and, and found out that none of the hives made it over the winter here. So when I went into the lion's hive today, I did find a, a mouse in there that made a little mouse house. And I, I'm guessing the way that he got in there was I had some half inch hardware cloth over top of this one. But this one, what I had was just some eighth inch hardware cloth folded in half and then uh, pushed in there because there was nothing on that side. But what he did was he pushed that in and then climbed in over top of the wool blanket and then got in on that side and ate a bunch of the comb. So that was the issue with that one. And then there was the small five frame here that was kind of uh, not doing too well. Had a smaller colony there that I, I didn't really think was going to make it through the winter. And these two here, uh, this one I've already tore apart and it, it did have a, a small baseball size cluster. And then this one I'm just about to rip into that. So let's go look at that. So here you can, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the cluster is right in here. Just, oh well, that one's already broken a little bit. So you can see them in there. So it's a smaller little cluster there. Kind of the same size as what I found on the other side here. But you can kind of see See they're right up against that honey there, so I don't know. Obviously it didn't starve unless it, it got really cold one night and then they kind of shrunk away from it, but they're right there, so it's not like they starve to death. Because there's still some honey there. And, hmm. and on the other side of the long Langstroth, when I was taking the frames out, I was scraping all the, the bees off that were left in the cluster, and you can see there's not very many left on this side. There is quite a few varroa mites on the ground here, so I'm assuming that's what their issue was. I did find the, the queen in that pile there. So there she is right there. So yeah, a very disappointing day. Kind of changed my whole plans for the next couple of months. But I guess what we'll have to do is wait for the local nukes to be ready and uh, buy a couple of those. Possibly change up a management strategy a little bit. But for today, I'm going to finish uh, taking apart this hive here, take everything to the garage, and then uh, call it a day. So thanks for watching, and uh, I guess we'll see you on the next video.